William James's Pragmatism, a new name for some old ways of thinking, is a foundational text in the field of philosophy, presenting a robust and accessible introduction to the pragmatic method and its implications. James's work is characterized by its clear, engaging prose and its emphasis on practical consequences as the core of philosophical inquiry. Through a series of lectures, James elucidates pragmatism as both a method for resolving metaphysical disputes and a theory of truth that prioritizes utility and experiential outcomes over abstract principles. James begins by addressing the philosophical context in which pragmatism arises, situating it as a reaction against the transcendental and rationalist traditions that dominated 19th century thought. He critiques these traditions for their tendency to divorce ideas from their practical applications, leading to sterile intellectual exercises rather than meaningful contributions to human life. Pragmatism, by contrast, insists that the value of any concept lies in its practical effects and its ability to solve real-world problems. This focus on practicality is captured in James's assertion that, the true is only the expedient in our way of thinking. One of the central tenets of James's pragmatism is its rejection of the quest for absolute truths. Instead, he advocates for a conception of truth that is dynamic and contingent, shaped by human experiences and purposes. In this view, an idea is true insofar as it proves useful and helps us navigate our experiences successfully. This pragmatic theory of truth challenges traditional notions of objective, immutable truths and aligns knowledge with the evolving nature of human life. James illustrates this point with a variety of examples, ranging from scientific theories to religious beliefs, showing how different kinds of truths serve different practical functions. James also emphasizes the pragmatic method as a tool for resolving metaphysical disputes that seem otherwise irresolvable. He demonstrates this by applying the pragmatic method to classic philosophical problems, such as the nature of free will, the existence of God, and the reality of the external world. For instance, he explores the debate between determinism and free will, arguing that the pragmatic method allows us to bypass abstract theoretical arguments and instead focus on the practical consequences of believing in one over the other. If the belief in free will leads to a more vigorous and morally responsible life, then pragmatism would favor it over determinism regardless of whether free will can be definitively proven in a metaphysical sense. A significant aspect of James's pragmatism is its pluralism. He acknowledges the diverse range of human experiences and insists that no single philosophical system can capture the entirety of truth. This pluralism is evident in his acceptance of religious and mystical experiences as valid forms of knowing. While traditional philosophy might dismiss these experiences as irrational or unscientific, pragmatism evaluates them based on their effects on the individual's life. If religious beliefs contribute positively to a person's conduct and well-being, they are considered pragmatically true. James's style in Pragmatism is conversational and approachable, making complex philosophical ideas accessible to a broad audience. He frequently uses analogies and anecdotes to illustrate his points, ensuring that his arguments are grounded in everyday experiences. This approach not only demystifies philosophical concepts but also underscores the pragmatic principle that ideas must be tested by their real-world applications. His discussion of the squirrel running around a tree, for instance, vividly demonstrates how pragmatic thinking can resolve seemingly trivial but perplexing disputes by clarifying the practical meaning of the terms involved. Despite its clear and engaging presentation, pragmatism does not shy away from addressing the deeper implications of its ideas. James confronts the potential criticisms of pragmatism, such as the accusation that it leads to relativism or undermines the pursuit of truth. 
He responds by emphasizing that pragmatism is not about rejecting truth but about redefining it in a way that is intimately connected to human purposes and experiences. Truth, in the pragmatic sense, is not less valuable but more so, as it is directly tied to the lived realities of individuals. In summary, William James's Pragmatism, a new name for some old ways of thinking, is a seminal work that reshapes our understanding of truth, knowledge, and philosophical inquiry. By centering practicality in human experience, James offers a robust framework for navigating the complexities of the modern world. His pragmatic method provides a flexible, pluralistic approach that honors the diversity of human thought and experience, making it a vital contribution to both philosophy and practical living. Through his clear exposition and compelling examples, James invites readers to embrace a philosophy that is not only intellectually satisfying but also profoundly useful in everyday life.